Hello everyone, in this short video I want to show you a book on geometry. It is called Shams Outline Geometry. This one is the second edition. I believe it's from like 1989. I think this one's from 89. Let's just check here. Yeah, 89. And this book is really good because you can use this book to refresh all of the geometry that you perhaps you've forgotten. You can also use it to learn new geometry. So there's many, many reasons that you might need to learn geometry. Um, for example, one reason could be that you are studying for uh, the GRE. That's a test that has some geometry. Uh, another reason might be that you are in high school and you want to learn geometry. So, or maybe you just want to learn geometry for the sake of learning geometry. So let's go back to the table of contents so you can see what it contains. It starts with lines, angles, and triangles, methods of proof, congruent triangles, parallel lines, distances, and angle sums, parallelograms, trapezoids, medians, and midpoints, circles, similarity, and then we have trigonometry. And then on the second page, we have areas, regular polygons, and the circle, locus, analytic geometry, inequalities and indirect reasoning, improvement of reasoning, constructions, proofs of important theorems, extending plane geometry into solid geometry and transformational geometry. And the way the Shams work, if you're not familiar with Shams outlines, are that basically you have some information, so like it'll teach you some stuff. Here you see it talks about point, line, and plane, line segments, and you have some solved problems right along the way. Circles, angles, it goes pretty quickly. It covers, it covers a lot of content, right? Quite a bit of content. Let's keep going. And then you have supplementary problems. You see, you have more exercises here, which is really nice. Let's keep going. Then you have some more stuff, methods of proof. So you just have lots of solved problems, lots of examples. You have supplementary problems. Um, it's just a good book to use as a reference, or you could use it uh, for self-study. This particular copy apparently came from a library. Look at this. This is kind of cool. No longer property of the Queen's Library. Sale of this item supported the library. Cool. And I guess, where was that? Is that New York, maybe? Yeah, wow, New York. Wow, Rosedale Branch. Interesting. And look at the dates. So long ago, right? It was early 2000s, so it's been a while. Right. It's been a while since the early 2000s. Here's the index, you can see that. And here are the answers to the supplementary problems which we saw earlier. So you do get answers to those in the back of the book. Um, most of the Shams are pretty similar. This one's a little bit different than some of the other ones I've looked at. Most of them are pretty similar in layout. Uh, I just gotta give it a whiff here. Just Oh, it smells amazing. So I think this is worth having. I think it's worth having all the Shams. Uh, this one in particular is kind of nice because it's like an older edition. Uh, this one also has like a weird plastic on the cover. And then here it says Rosedale. I guess that was the, was that the library? Let's just check. Yeah, Rosedale Branch of the Queens Library in New York. Wow, look, 1997. Wow. Wow, so long ago, right? Just got to give it a whiff here. Just... Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, wow, I wish you could smell it with me. They have not invented that technology yet. Uh, someday they will, where I can magically transmit the smell of this math book through the computer, through your phone. That would be, they need to create that. Just got to give it one more whiff here. It just smells amazing. But yeah, pretty interesting book. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description uh, in case you want to check out a copy or whatever. But it's Geometry Shams Outlines. Also, check out my courses. Uh, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, use my links through mathsorcerer.com. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Keep doing mathematics.